G'day again. On a cold and blustery day, I'm going to show you what it took to get our wings here going up and down on brew peg with our new winches. We've been using this little hand winch here on a two to one pulley setup. You see the pulley just there, and that's worked. We've got a chain connected down onto the wing here, just welded down onto the front. That's worked to get the wings up and down, but it's slow and it's pretty dodgy. Um, we've had one near miss where uh, the ratchet let go and the wing dropped a wee bit. Um, that scared the crap out of us and made us sort of give up on bothering with that thing. It was always a temporary $30 winch that we're just using to lift and lower while we're halfway building it. However, we had our 24 volt winches sitting in the lounge ready to go. So these guys here, um, what we decided to do was hook it up. We've got a, a two to one purchase. So if I show you right down the bottom here, that's the pulley on a two to one. We've just got a strop hooking around the cheek down here and that's allowing us to lift and lower the wing. Now what we're gonna do today is um, we're gonna weld a beam across here that allows this just to slide on the outside of our sliders. Um, it'll function basically like a slider, but it's not gonna, means we just don't have to hold the arm as we're lifting it up and down. And then we can crank it up and down with the uh, 24 volt winch. We grabbed our two starter batteries and we hooked them up as a 24 volt bank so that we can utilize the winch. Now what we need to do today, we've tacked in the bottom of the sliders on each side here, we've tacked these in. We need to figure out where do they go at the top. We thought we cut it in the right spot and we haven't, but it doesn't really matter. We're just going to um, keep trimming until we've got them where they need to be. What we need to measure, 25mm from this edge here to this face here, and then same on this side, this inside edge and that face there on the slider. We've got them sitting at 25mm now, and we need to lift that arm right up and then set them at 25 mil at the top and tack the sliders into the boat at that point. And then from there, we're ready to go. They'll be on the right angle for the arm and everything will align. Moment of truth, gonna lift it up. So we've got our um, winch hooked up. It's got a like a Wi-Fi remote or Bluetooth remote or something, I don't know what it is, but basically it's a little up and down remote. So I'm gonna be up the front of the boat. Uh, I've hooked up a safety, so a big 14 mil line, um, two to one line, so that if the winch fails, I'll be able to just ease the wing back down with the line. My plan is to basically push the wing up, get the arm up to the roof level, and then flip it out past all of the, um, what do you call them? Clamps and all that sort of garry on. Uh, get it above the roof and then I can get my sliders measured so that they'll be bang on up top We're good to go It was here that we realized we were moments away from having the wing drop because the strop was ripping Ben talk. Yeah Copyrighted. <laughs> well that worked, but we broke the weld on the front slider, so the plan now is we're going to get the back slider lined up at the top and then we can just measure the front one if it's say 411mm, do 411 at the top on the, on the other slider. We don't have to have both of them tacked in, obviously to do this we're going to get one aligned and then work out the second one. We're going to go about 20 mil. By using the plasma cutter we can get into really tight little corners, something that we wouldn't be able to do with the grinder, but it also means we can redirect the sparks so they don't go over the neighbour's boat. So what I'm trying to do is use the plasma cutter to nip about 10mm off the back of the roof. Um, where we're putting the slider up into because I need to bring the slider back slightly so that it's parallel with the arm travel. The arm travel determines everything so it doesn't matter if it goes up straight, off to the back, off to the front, it makes no difference it just as long as the two sliders are absolutely parallel with the arm. So that's what we're doing here. We've got the bottom um, set at 25mm between the arm and the slider, the gap between the two. 
and we're just trying to get the top to be 25 mil. To do that, we need to move it back very slightly. I'll bop this slider back, eh? Oh, there we go. Consider it bop. Right, with that back slider tacked in, we can now measure what our distance at the very bottom is between the two sliders, and then bring that up and do the equivalent measurement at the top, weld them in at the top. Um, once that's done, we can start putting the pins that act as the guides on the arms. For now, we've just got a manky old bit of rusty steel on there just to make sure it slides. Um, but yeah, we're getting pretty close to having this a fully functional slider. Close enough, I've got 415 right at the top, but I've got 4, 4, 412 sort of all the way where it matters. It's almost like we need to put this one further in. It could be because the roof line isn't the same as the depth. Yeah. I think we need to move the front one in. We just realised we made a little bit of a mistake. Um, the edge of the roof is not the same as the edge of the chine in terms of uh, like dimensions and things like that. If you look down the arm there, you can sort of see that's almost vertical. If you put a straight edge along the arm beams, they don't line up with the roof. You can see the roof's got a bit of a twist off to the one side. And what that means is right there, there's about an 18 mil gap. You can see that shadow right there. That's sort of showing up the gap quite a lot. And then on this side here, it's, it's touching. So it's basically bang on. What we need to do is move this front slider inwards about probably 18 mil or, or whatever that measurement there is. We need to move it in the equivalent of that. Um, it's perfect at the bottom, it's just twisted at the top. So we'll make a slight adjustment and we'll get that bit aligned. Welcome back to Australia's Next Top Model. Our next contestant is wearing the fashionable Australian work boot. Available in both left and right. Oh yeah, check out these moves, sexy ladies. What's left to do today, we're gonna um, take the little block of steel that we welded to the arm off. Um, that's gonna allow us to lift the wing back up slightly and bolt it back into the deck properly. We've got the sliders in position, we just have to figure out, one's got a slight twist, we're going to have to figure out what we have to do in terms of is that going to cause us any dramas and so on. Um, but for now, we've pretty much figured uh, what we're doing with those sliders out. We need to, um, yeah, bolt the, the arm back down, then we can start making the stainless pin that goes in the two steel sliders. We're bolting the arm back down, we're going to dismantle the winch and everything like that, we don't need it for a wee bit. Um, what we need to do now that we've figured out where the sliders go, um, where the bolts go and, this, and so on, um, we're going to go through and then uh, make the stainless pins and the little um, positioning pieces of steel that they need and so on. And then we'll fit the um, high density polyethylene wear strips in and we'll be able to put this up and down properly in the slider. Wow, that's pretty impressive. It is, eh? Hey? Fish. Um, pretty likely this is sugar cane burn off. You can see it's sort of sitting in the sky. There's not much wind at all. There's a tiny wee breeze, a little whisper. So it probably will come over at some point over tonight. So we close up. 
because it stinks the boat out, it's quite smelly. There's a lot of black ash around the boat at the moment, it's that, just that time of the year that they're burning off, so pretty impressive really, isn't it? <laughs> just enjoying the sunset. You got ice like summer sky If it's my good kill I die And now it starts to rain So let's enjoy it I 